So in this property, there are a number of damp patches that don't fit a common profile. On the right hand side of the kitchen, there is a brown stain. Brown stains result from water passing through a building material. Typically, when it's a dark brown stain, there's timber involved. Typically, when it's on the outside of the building, it's caused by penetrating damp. When it's on the inside of a building, it's caused by a leak. In this case, I assumed it was the outside, but it, it turned out to be on the party wall side. I visited the neighbor's property and discovered the source of moisture there. Other issues are related to primarily condensation, uh, and then there's a risk of hygroscopic salts. I, I also discovered high humidity in the subfloor void uh, caused from or resulting from insufficient ventilation in the subfloor. There is a risk when you get high humidity in the subfloor of getting water condensing above the damp proof course and causing rising damp like symptoms. In this case the damp was spread around the property including on the first floor. Uh, there appear to be hygroscopic salts which cause a form of condensation. There is also a defective bathroom extractor fan which I improved during the survey. The result Hygroscopic salts and condensation are very difficult to differentiate. The way to differentiate them is to dry the property out and see if the hygroscopic salts remain and if so, cover them with an oil-based primer such as Zinza Bin. Very simple solution, costs virtually nothing to do, but you don't necessarily want to do it if the source of the moisture is condensation. So there's darkness there. That looks like penetrating damp. I'll have a look on the outside. So looking on the other side of the damp patch, there is a shower head in a bathroom. There are cracks at the base of the tiles. They need grout and or sealant. Uh, and they're going to need to be, have constant attention probably once a year. So this is just going straight up there. So the, uh, it's, okay. It'd be interesting to see whether. Uh, but when we had this all knocked out, there was a, a hole in the chimney bowl, which was there, so we had to sort of fix well, up. Between you and yeah, your neighbour? Yeah, there's like oh. a massive hole, so. Oh. They sort of fixed that up, didn't they? That would be why. So there are damp patches around the kitchen, particularly on the chimney breast. That comes from no ventilation within the kitchen. The chimney breast is very close to the source of the vapour. There is a solid surface, which is the top of the worktop, that is creating a amplifying effect for condensation to form onto the wall and be absorbed up. The solution is to reduce vapour in the kitchen by bringing the dew point down, either with ventilation or with a dehumidifier. Here are a series of thermal images where blue is colder than red and orange. It is useful for owners to see where they're getting heat loss. Obviously, it's during the day, it was relatively mild outside. It's easier to see contrast when it's really hot inside and cold on the outside. I'm in interested to see, it doesn't seem to be too, too bad, but I'll get a bit closer. You are getting some heat loss around there. Right, and then down there. And I wanted to go over here. 
So the property has also suffered some structural movement. These increase the risk of dampness uh, from ingress on the outside water finding its way through the holes, but also from poor or reduced insulation increasing the risk of condensation. This property has also had a form of damp proofing treatment in the past. Uh, it looks like the form that used a power saw to cut through the base of the wall. It's difficult to be sure. You're getting condensation forming uh, on, on there. See that bead of condensation? Yeah. So what, what happens in um, cellars is if you get condensation forming above the damp roof course, it causes a rising damp-like symptom. Uh, but actually, funnily enough, you appear to have a reasonable amount of ventilation in here. But it has been blocked the rear. So you've got ventilation there and the other side. Mm. But it's, it's clearly humid in here. Yeah. And when it rains, it, in, you know, if it rains, it's, you can really smell the damp upstairs, I find. So upstairs? In the hallway, yeah. Okay. So I found the vent upstairs was hardly drawing any air out at all. It was very blocked up. So we managed to use a vacuum cleaner to remove all the cobwebs and dust. And we opened it up and it's now working. Uh, the only thing is that there was a lot of water condensing within the wall. Although I don't think this is causing any significant damage, it's worth noting. And uh, the other thing is that it was missing uh, a duct, a rigid duct should be applied, that will stop the condenser. So on the first floor chimney breast there are damp patches caused by what appears to be hygroscopic salts, these form deliquescence which is a form of condensation. Simpler solution is to cover these with an oil based primer such as Zinza. So in summary the worst of the damp patches is a brown stain that comes from the neighbour's shower. The simple solution is to grout and seal the tiles beneath the, the shower.